Hi everyone, it's Jenny and I am going to do Capricorn for the month of July 2021. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to combine in between a little bit of what I see for your work, for your career, um, money-wise. I'm going to touch a little basis on your health and I'm also going to touch, of course, for your love life. So if you're in a relationship, if you're looking for some new love, like what is going on in the Caps world for July? Okay, so I'm going to use some of these cards here. I mean, like for those of you who already know me, I'm clairvoyant, psychic medium. I do past life Akashic records, animal communicator. I talk to people who have passed on and loved ones, pets, you name it. So in order for me to do readings on here on YouTube, I'm not just going to sit here and talk, of course, right? That would be just way too boring. So I'm just going to use some of these cards as well. They're just oracle cards. When I do readings on my clients, I never use cards. I go by your energy, what I see for you and all areas of your life. Who's coming back from your past life? Who are these connections you have? What what karma do you need to clear? What's going on? And answer all of your questions with a lot of my insights, okay? So anyways, if you guys want to book a personal reading with me, soulworkwithjenny.com. I will put my website um, in the description box below. And don't forget, I'm just starting off here just kind of doing these readings. Um on YouTube with these cards. I've been reading people for over 40 years, um, so you can Google me, you can read all about me if you want. I've been on a lot of different radio shows, media, I had my own television show for five years, you name it. So anyways, let's just start off this reading here for Capricorn. So what I want to start off with is just a little bit of, I'm just going to like bang these cards here. If you guys are ever using cards, make sure to clear the energy. Bang them on wood, right? As you just heard me do three times. Because when, when you're using cards, you want to be able to clear that energy, okay? So, or else it's going to pick up on your energy as well. Or the last person who you did a reading on, okay? So that's why it's really important to do this. So anyways, we're going to go into... Um, what is coming up for Capricorn for July 2021? And as you know, I'm going to use my insights, um, psychic insights, pretty much rather more than the cards. Um, I'm just going to use these cards to help you guys along so it's not boring. <laughs> so anyways, this first deck here that I'm going to use, I love Doreen Virtue. It's um, Saints and angels okay so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna shake it up a little bit and we're gonna ask spirit i just say spirit because i work in channel with the christ consciousness i get messages from the ascended masters from people who have passed on your guides you name it so unless i'm hearing more of a specific name coming through i will say it okay so remember guys subscribe to my youtube channel like it and make some comments and let me know what you think and what other you'd like me to, uh, other subjects and such to talk about, okay? So anyways, asking spirit, spirit, what's coming up with Capricorn here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> right away, we have safe travels, okay? And how I work here with my cards actually is whatever cards, if there's a certain card that flies up, a couple of cards, I will absolutely use those ones. If it's a pile of cards that come down, no. So it's interesting how this travel card comes up for you, Capricorn, because I see you traveling. I see you traveling actually out of the country. You very well could be traveling just around your country or different, you know, town, cities, whatever it is, okay? But the interesting energy is what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, is this travel card here especially with it being a safe travels especially with COVID coming up just take a little extra precaution I know that you know for those um, people who have been you know had the 
the shots and stuff like that that's great and all but still take care okay because your travels also from what i've seen they're going to be okay so just be really really open um to new business opportunities that are coming through because if anything capricorn i see opportunities opening up more for you at a distant okay so it's interesting that this safe travels come up for you so I actually see that in love as well. But anyways, we're just going to do career right now a little bit. And then we'll also touch bases in with some love vibes, as I call it. So what's coming up? Oh, wow. Believe in practice. So you've got to believe in what you're doing. Um, take that as a, a huge confirmation from you because you can get pulled back and forth. You can get really hard on yourself whenever you're trying to get work going and just just know it because like right here practice makes perfect so whatever you're doing just keep practicing it and i really want you to follow your passions because i hear from soul you hear from soul if we pay attention okay so really pay attention to where your passions are guiding you about um anything with anything okay so Look at this. I see I get cards flying out here, right? So if you guys have had some loss of sleep, we've had some crazy Mercury retrograde energies, full, full eclipse, full moon vibes and stuff like that. And I know that you guys worry a lot because you want to have that kind of perfection with your work. Just take it easy, right? Look deeper. Don't try to force anything. Don't force anything to try to come up. Don't do that. Because if you do that, it's going to go the opposite direction, okay? So just take it easy. I, if anything, I can see some business opportunities opening for you also, too, by the way, with um, some people from your past. I see contracts being signed. So whenever you get presented with a new job, um, work opportunity, business, whatever it is, Rather than jumping into it saying, you know what, this looks totally awesome because some things are going to open up here for you, just take that pause and just say, okay, thanks, let me think about it, let me look at the information and, you know, let me think about it and get, get back to you. So just do some research, like don't jump into it. I keep on hearing that strongly. So also um, what I'm hearing is if you guys had some property or a business also, by the way, that you had wanted to sell i can see that you're going to get or have gotten more than what you were asking for okay so anything like that surrender 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 the outcome because if you put so much focus on it it's not going to happen so for those of you who have just sold your business or um, sold properties or anything you probably got a lot more than what you were asking, okay? So you're a lot more happier. So let's take a look at um, other work that is coming up. Let's pay attention. Move, oh my goodness. Move, isn't that kind of cool, okay? Because you know how I keep on talking about that travel, those travel opportunities coming up for you? I do see a move, okay? And if you guys look back to about a year and a half ago, two years, you've probably been hearing spirit and your soul saying, hey, Cap, it's really time that we make that move. If it's moving out of the country, the city to a different location, it's time. Okay, so if anything, I see you guys getting a lot more signs from spirit. Pay attention to like sequent numbers, 111, 222. All of those different signs and whenever you hear those signs or see those signs pay attention to right at that very moment where your thoughts are so if you had any type of negative thoughts change it to positive thoughts any type of move it's always stressful but I can see you being excited about it. It's almost like, oh, I want that new start. I am so looking forward to it. I want to, you know, create a lot of new with my family or create a family or a new business or anything like that. So be open to that, okay? Because that card here for you, it's really going to take you wonders. 
And also I'm seeing actually a relationship that's at a distance for you too, by the way. So we're going to just kind of finish up here um, with just this deck. And I'm just going to move on to one of my other decks here for you guys. Um, just to get another confirmation. Again, here, Ascended Masters, I'm going to take a look at this deck here for you guys. Um, knock three times. Clear the energy of the cards. Okay, so Capricorn, Capricorn, asking spirit, give me some indication of what is coming up for Capricorn for the month of July for work. Work business opportunities for Capricorn for July. Capricorn, focus on your strengths. Okay, now this card, what I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, you remember how I mentioned earlier, follow your passions? It's really, really important because we all are gifted in our own unique way. And you have to take a look at, okay, you know what? My strengths are this and this and this and that. Write it down. Because it's like, yeah, I know. I know what my strengths are. But yeah, I'm actually, you know, I, I want to create a business or I want to do this. So mark down your strengths because if anything, I do see an opportunity coming for you as well. Somebody from your past that you could have had a falling out with or somebody from your past that you haven't really talked to for quite some time. And I can see you guys reconnecting and even creating some type of a new project with each other. Okay, so you remember how I said, um, you know, pay attention to opportunities with contracts or anything to do with that. You guys can talk to each other about what it is you'd like to do or accomplish. But again, take that time back and see where you're at with um, what you want, how you connect with that person, because everybody can rebond and rebound off of each other when we're open. Because there might be other people that you're not, you know what, I like them because they have this strength. They have this creative ability. They have that experience and knowledge where I don't. And you can utilize that between each other to really shift it forward and kick it up a few notches, okay? So take that into consideration. So let's ask Spirit. One more card before we get into the love vibration cards here. Love vibes for Cap as well. So one more card here from for Capricorn Spirit for career. Career business Capricorn July. July Capricorn. July Capricorn Spirit. Give me a card what Capricorn should know. And here there's way too many. Okay, this card fell out with his Ganesh, um, which means yes. But we're going to do it again okay so right here oh fertility capricorn oh my goodness sakes so as you all know fertility means children and everything like that which of course yes okay but since we're on the subject of career and business fertility for you capricorn is a new beginning rebirth Okay, so those ideas, those creative ideas that you have and are thinking about or have thought about, write them down. I keep on seeing write them down. Don't worry right now the second how you're going to make it happen, who you're going to connect with, how, 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 how. You can always book a private reading with Jenny, of course, and I can give you my insights into what I see for you coming up, um, who these people are that are going to approach you or that you're going to approach for business, how the outcome is going to be, who they are connected to you in another lifetime, is there karmic ties between you, where is the business going to go, and is it a good match or is it not? Okay, so keep that in mind, Capricorn, okay, because I'm just doing this. This is basically for all Capricorn signs, really. Some of you can connect with it, some of you might not, okay? So when I do a personal reading, I read into you where you are, your level of consciousness, where you are as a soul, what is coming into you, what energies you need to clear, what business, all of that, okay? So one more, one more card for the collective for Capricorn before we move on to some serious love vibes. Love vibes for Cap, all right? So isn't this interesting? You know, I heard... I kept on hearing, actually, um, as I started shuffling the cards, I kept on hearing that you're going to hear something about a woman or from a woman that there's some health issues concerned with someone and it's going to concern you. Okay, and if anything, I was feeling more of a feminine energy you're going to hear about. 
Um, it could be, you know, like here, right here, we have mother, wife, sister, or daughter. You could hear from them about your friend, um, or it very well could be connected to your mother, your sister, you know, daughter, wife, family, somehow connected um, that there is a health issue with a friend, okay, or family member here. So it is going to concern you a lot, um, but I do really feel that, um, you know, for most of the energy that I'm picking up on here, everything will be okay, but it, it will concern you. So whenever you hear that and such like that, it's really important for you to, you know, take some time out in nature as here. It's going to bring this card up here. Retreat into nature regardless of what. Okay, so whenever you're feeling that heaviness of what decisions do I need to make? How do I do this? I'm so tired. Go into nature. Turn the phone off. Turn everything off. Think about yourself. Give yourself some self-love cap. You are very hard at yourself. You can be really, really, really hard on yourself. I know you like things to be perfect. I understand that. I totally get it. But you need some self-love for yourself as well. Okay? So just keep that in mind. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a little tap in to see what's coming up for Capricorn with some love vibes here. Again, I'm going to knock the cards three times. And I'm going to be using the Whispers of Love cards, Oracle cards here from An Angela Hartfelt. They're absolutely gorgeous. They're beautiful cards. Okay, so Capricorn with love. I'm not giving a flow, a full blown out reading, of course, because I'm just testing out to see if you guys are going to be interested in me doing a lot more videos. Um, so... If you are, please make sure you like this video, make a comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a little bell on the right-hand side. It says subscribe. Click on that button, and whenever I do a new video, you will be the first to get notified about it, okay? And make me a comment. Like, write comments. Let me know what you think about it, okay? So some of you guys are going to resonate with it. Some of you are not, okay? So anyways, let's get some love vibes going on here for Capricorn. Spirit, what's happening to Capricorn? Couples, singles, let's see what's going on. Let's see what's going on. Interesting what I'm picking up as person from your past, Capricorn. There's an energy right now from your past that you had a falling out with. You could have blocked them. They could have blocked you. Okay. And I, you know, it was the time that that should have happened. However, it was done wrong, okay? If you want to end your friendship or love connection or whatever it is with someone, you should have that heart-to-heart -heart talk with them and say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm going to move in a different direction because what happens if you don't? You're still carrying that energy and karma and karmic ties between that person. And it's not going to go away. The karma is still there, okay? You can't run from it. It'll come back, all right? So anyways... What is coming up for Capricorn in love for July? July 2021 love vibes for Capricorn. July 2021 love vibes for Capricorn. Love vibes for Capricorn. What's coming up, Spirit? Capricorn love vibes for July. Capricorn love vibes. There we go. Too many cards, though, Cap. Too many cards. Love vibes for Capricorn for July. Love vibes for Capricorn. Spirit, love vibes. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Embrace your emotions. Allow your feelings to surface and be accepted. Okay, so you remember how I just talked about that past person? How you guys blocked each other or one of you did, if it was you, if it was them. This is because you were running from your emotions. You did not deal with your emotions. It was just easier for you or them just to block them and run from it. There is no escaping. You have to do that reflection of what you are looking for, what qualities you're looking for, what you're not looking for, okay? Because you can't run, Capricorn. You cannot run. This card here, the only thing that is real is love shift your focus back to love this person from the past by the way capricorn they still love you they're very angry at how everything went down they're very hurt 
They were looking for love. You guys both felt that you were playing games with each other. I felt that there was a loss of trust between you both. And there is a toxic situation, a toxic situation. And this, you both weren't saying all your emotions on the table. So it's not just you, it's also with them. Okay, so just, I know you're wanting love. I know you're wanting love, okay? But you can't have love if you're running from love, all right? For those of you who are in a current relationship, I can feel that relationship, by the way, has gotten stronger. You guys could have felt that um, you guys got a lot more closer, and this is why you blocked that other third party away from you. I keep hearing third party Capricorn. Even if you were in a, even if you are in a relationship or in a current relationship or or wanting to be all of that, you know what I'm talking about, right? You guys can't have a love triangle going on if you want to have the real deal. You, you really can't, okay? Oh, have patience. I love this card, actually. See, the water on this card, water represents emotions. Okay, so anybody who is having emotions, ups and downs, or like, oh my God, how do I handle this? If anyone is living by water, like we're talking a lake, an ocean, go there and surrender it. Because you can't force love. You can't force anything. You got to remember that the only thing that you have any control over Capricorn is yourself, nothing else. Okay, so if you want to have the love, you got to keep it real. Write down what it is you're looking for. Like really write down. I can see someone new coming up in your life also. And um, this person actually, I can feel they're a little older than you. They live at a distant. They're very independent. They're a go-getter. Um, they're either distance, yeah, they're distance from you, so you will have to travel. It's not like they live on the other side of the city. They live out of the city or out of the country from you, okay? So, but honestly, I, I don't see that coming to you in July. I can see that coming to you perhaps maybe later in the fall, the end of this year, because you're going to be going through a lot of different changes. You're going to be maturing more. What you thought you wanted, it's all going to change, okay? So you can always book a reading with me to get a very detailed reading. Don't forget um, this person from your past also, by the way, it's a past life connection. Um, so let's ask Spirit. Spirit, what's coming up for Capricorn for love? July, July 2021, Capricorn love. Capricorn love, July 2021. What do we got falling down here? Act as if your partner is here. Whether you have someone in your life or not, act as if they are with you. So you will always consider them. Okay. So again, I keep on hearing this person from your past coming through. I really do. Okay. Also, you know how I said there is this person from the new coming, someone new coming, not in July though. Write down what you're looking for. Like create a vision board what you're looking for. Do you want this person... Um, if you want to have children, make sure you write that down that they want to have children. Write down if you want somebody who is very honest, who's independent, who loves animals, who loves to travel, who's very honest, no addiction issues, like things like that. Um, also, by the way, Cap, I keep hearing... Um, as I started talking about, um, I, when I hear messages coming in from spirit, I just start saying them by the way. So, you know how I see that you have been for a while going through that dark night of the soul. You've been releasing a lot of things. And I also feel that you're working through like an addiction yourself. Okay. Like we, anybody can have addictions, you know, it can be alcohol, drugs, food, porn, gambling, like anything, right? And I really feel that you have been trying your best to do a lot of letting go, a lot of working through it. Um, and you've been changing your health routine as well. So, um, which is really good, which is really good, Cap. So just really keep that in mind. Just watch your knees too, by the way. Um, so anyways, let's just do one. That's too many cards, Spirit. Let's ask Spirit again. Give me a love vibe message for Capricorn for july 2021 love vibe message for capricorn love vibe message for capricorn love vibe message for capricorn love vibe what's the message for capricorn for love for june for july i should say 
practice compassion, seeing things from a press, fresh perspective. Okay, so again, this person from the past, <laughs> I keep hearing. It's something that's been bothering you for a while, but yet you have been working through this, okay? You have been re releasing, you have been letting go. Um, I can still see feelings on both of your sides, okay? So really take a look. Be real honest with yourself, Capricorn, of were you being honest with them? Were you telling them the truth? Did you put all your cards on the table with them with your emotions of what you want? Um, what you liked about them, what you didn't like about them, all of those things. And you got to remember, you can't judge anybody. Everyone has their own path to walk in, okay? Everyone has their own journey. So you really have to release that. But if you want a genuine, loving, honest relationship, be honest yourself. So show some compassion, okay? I know you're a good person and have a really, really good heart, and if you feel that somebody has screwed you around, you're the wrath of God, I get it, I hear it. But just really show some compassion because I really feel this person, by the way, has been struggling with a lot of things that you don't know about. And they did not, and they do not want you to know everything because then they think, you know what, nobody wants to hear it, nobody wants that drama, nobody... You know, I don't want to talk to them because I don't want them to feel that I'm just like going through a lot and I don't want to tell, talk to them about my problems, okay? So they were holding back their emotions with what was going on and so were you, okay? So just make sure that um, you show some compassion because honestly, Cap, I do feel that eventually you will make up with this person from your past. And when you do, you're going to feel a lot more lighter and you're going to be able to move on a little bit better. Okay. And depending on where you both are at, you very well could come back together and actually create um, work together in a business creative because you both have a lot of creative ideas. And remember how I said from the very beginning um, when we talked about business that I see um, contracts that I see someone from the past. Um, you might very well, when you connect with this person from the past, there could be some, you know, talks on the table of, you know, I like your work, um, you know, I'd like to work with you somehow, you know, and you could just be friends with this person. It doesn't mean you have to romantically get involved with them. You really don't. Okay. This person, you know, they've, they've been through a lot as well. And, you know, they miss talking to you, you miss talking to them. But yet, you guys both had enough of each other. You had enough of the bullshit, as I called, okay? Just, it was off. It wasn't the right timing. You both had to do a lot of soul-searching, dark night of the soul, um, all of those things, okay? So, just be open, because there's new opportunities, new work coming to you. Um, there's travels coming for you as well. And, um, you know, like change has been going on, of course, with everyone. Whoops. So just hit this. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Let me just get this restructured here. Oopsie daisies. Oopsie daisies. There we go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do is just um, ask Spirit um, for just a card, maybe or two. You know how I can get um, on the collective rate for Capricorn. So for basically for the full month of July, um, you know, we'll just do kind of like a little bit of a collective read here with business and career and see what spirit um, wants to give you as a message. So I'm also using Magical Unicorn cards by Doreen Virtue as well. Okay, so anyways, three times on the wood and um, oops, there we go. Sorry, guys, this is moving around a little bit. Let me fix this a bit here, kind of on a little wobbly surface here. Oops, hang on here. Hang on here. Sorry about that. All right. So hopefully that's okay. <laughs> All right, Spirit. So one last card for Capricorn. What's a collective for July for Capricorn? Capricorn. I'm not going to read those. What's a collective energy from Spirit for Capricorn? Capricorn. Woo, what fell out? Decide. It's time to make a clearly decision about what you'd like to do. Okay, and exactly, remember how I said write down some pinpoints as what you would like. 
What are you looking for in love? What are you looking for in business? Do you want to be self-employed? Do you want to work for someone? What type of relationship are you looking for? Do you want to have children? Like be specific, like create a vision board, okay? Write down if it's in love. What are you looking for? Are you looking to have children? Are you looking to travel with someone? Are you looking for someone that you can, you know, really, really talk to emotionally? You know, make sure you have that connection and be really, really, you know, specific what you're looking for. Even with work, the same thing. Are you looking to create a business? Are you looking to revamp your business? Um, are you looking to expand it? Are you looking to create something new, find a different job? Are you wanting to move out of the city? All of those. Okay, really make some decisions, like because I just really feel that soul is guiding you. You're gonna get more and more signs if they're in your dreams or your intuition's gonna be a lot more stronger. Okay, so really write down things like that and don't force to hear those messages with spirit, right? Like I said, you can always book in a reading with me and I can give you my insights to what I see coming up for you personally in all areas of your life, love, career, business, health, all of that. Okay, so if you guys liked my video, click like. Please make some comments what you'd like me to talk about, if you like this or not. And also, most importantly, subscribe to my YouTube channels because I want to build this up to at least um, over a thousand viewers because then I can give you guys some live readings for free, right? I have a Facebook page that I do live readings every week called free psychic clairvoyant readings with Jenny G. Send me a message. This is kind of like fall again, guys. Send me a message um, on Facebook under Jenny Cousins or look up my group and join. And that way we can, you know, hook up. I do free readings once a week and give you all my insights. Okay. All right, everyone. Have a great July Capricorn. And if I get some good comments and feedbacks, I will keep on doing these readings. Okay. Bye for now. Namaste.